I decided I was going to wear pink today because I am trying to incorporate more pink into my life for 2018. And I have my side bun, which is kind of fun. But today I wanted to talk to you about getting started. It's a question I really get a lot. And I think that there are so many ways to get started and the key is just to do it. But I wanted to give you three ideas on how to make that a little bit easier. First, I have to say that I got started with my creative career long before I actually started this career, before I started painting in this way, in this intensity. I started dabbling. I started dabbling in poetry, in painting, in, in just writing nonfiction. I was dabbling in sewing. I did knitting. I had all of these little hobbies that I just tried out for fun. And I thought all of those years, ah, I can't concentrate. I can't like pick something and just stick with it. How come I don't have one hobby? But in truth, I was gathering up information and I was, I was learning something from everything that I did. And I can only see that now because I'm looking backwards. But in the moment, I thought, well, I have no attention span. Side note, I was a professional chef. There's not a lot of time to have a hobby with that sort of day job. So I did give myself a little bit of leeway on that. But dabbling definitely helped me think about all kinds of different things in all kinds of different ways. So when I attack a painting now, I'm coming with all of that history behind me. Um, and I know what I like. I know what I'm trying to get. The aesthetic is there because I've done so many different things and I've touched so many different things that now I have a fuller view of what I want to do as an artist. So that's the first one. The second thing is setting aside time. I had 20 minutes a day, every day. When I started this process, it's about three years ago now, I was starting with calligraphy. So I did 20 minutes of calligraphy every day. I practice, 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 practice. And if you do calligraphy for 20 minutes a day, for 30 days, there's a huge difference. And you're suddenly like, oh my God, I could totally be a calligraphist, which you can't after 30 days. You need a little bit more practice. But I had this, oh my gosh, I can improve. That's amazing. I wonder how long it'll take me to get to the next step. And the next step was adding watercolor. Okay, well, 20 minutes a day, I'm adding watercolor in. I'm playing with watercolor. I'm still playing with calligraphy, but I have my 20 minutes everybody leaves me alone for 20 minutes because they know that's my time. And then it just progressed. What else can I do in 20 minutes? How else can I push this practice? What else do I want to play with? What else do I want to explore? 20 minutes is a good amount of time to do a little project. I'm working on, you know, paper, so it's not like I'm on a big canvas. 20 minutes. That's it. Just start. And the third thing that I would recommend is really make what you like. Make the art that you like because there is going to be somebody else out there who's going to love the art that you make. But if you're trying to make somebody else's art or you're trying to make art you think people will like, it's not going to work. And that's still true for me now. If I try and make something that I'm like, oh yeah, the people are going to love this. I'll make it and then I'll look at it and be like, who made this? What was I thinking? But if I just let it flow, I make something that I'm like, that's it. I don't even want to take a picture because then somebody's going to buy it and it's not going to be mine anymore. That's the art you want to make. That's what you're striving for. So just start with that in mind. Don't start with, you know, I have to make it so that the masses will buy my work. That's not the important thing. The important thing with creating is creating something that you love because then you'll want to create more. So those are my tips. Super fast today. I just wanted to get it in because I had a couple of people ask me like in the last couple of weeks, how'd you start? So that's how I started. How did you start? I'd love to know any interesting ways that you fit a little bit of creativity into your day. If you're interested, I have a friend who made a video about this and you can watch it. I'll put the link somewhere around me so that you can go see her video. But tell me, 
How did you start in your creative process? Comment below, subscribe to the newsletter, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you later. Bye.